Incense, check. Will to live, not check. All right, guys, I am back in the shop and uh, I am not using the GoPro this time because that freaking wind noise or just vibration noise has been pissing me off. So 944 is out of the shop, over shop down the street, doing uh, timing tensioner, oil change, and test pipe. So it'll be catless now, which is cool, but the purpose of today's video is to talk about Shadow Dash on Mega Squirt 3, how it runs, and a couple examples and some cool shit I can show you. So without further ado, this is what we're working with right now. So we have the wide band, the water temp, and then we have this, which if you look at it gives us coolant. Oh my God. The point of this is we are running Shadow Dash 1.6, we have coolant temp, oil pressure, oil temp, boost, which is not being used, throttle position sensor RPM, and GPS speed. So this is a $40 Android tablet, which as you can see is pretty cheap, though it has a slot for SIM cards and all that good shit. So we're running Shadow Dash, which interfaces with the Megasquirt ECU. So all this is good and cool, but what you need to run this is a mega squirt unit with a serial Bluetooth connector, which will connect to shadow dash. Um, the advantages of this is you can do data logging right to your Dropbox. I'll show you. So go back into preferences and then if you just mess around with it, um, it's pretty cool. So enable automatic logging and then like sync shit to Dropbox, automatic sign and all that good stuff. So you have yourself a pretty powerful app that can do a lot of good stuff. And these rings will go away when it's connected to the ECU, but um, yeah, I have to wire up the ECU, which is, uh, it's getting there, we're on the list. So the serial connection is pretty cheap. Moving on. From the mega squared side of things we need a mount so i drew up this little quick side view of a mount that's not really to scale but the measurements are on there and my old roommate nick who i who's been on the channel before is going to hook it up and uh 3d print one for me which should be pretty damn cool so i'm excited about that and i mean that looks pretty clean the way it is that's with the angle i want and all that good shit so That'll be coming up soon. But one thing I wanted to show y'all is once you have the app, uh, the Shadow Dash, I think it's 15 bucks. If you want these cool themes, uh, like the Lamborghini style theme like I have, or the Ferrari style theme, it's not hard. Um, so I'll link the files. Basically you download this and you can do everything from uh, your tablet. So you need a file explorer, and then you'll come down to wherever you download them, extract them, and do, move them to, where is it, where is it? Megasquirt Shadow Dash. And then you're just gonna change the text to Home Landscape Dash, if it'll focus. That'd be cool. Yeah, so Home Landscape Dash. And um, yeah, I have the stock ones just basically labeled right now, and then you can delete one and rename it, and then so forth and move it over. And when you restart the app the next time, you will have the theme on, which is pretty cool. So yeah, running the Mega Squirt 3 Shadow Dash, stop being weird, and uh, with a Lamborghini style theme. Again, the rings will go away once you move that into the actual ECU and connect it to a laptop and uh, move those rings, yada, yada, yada. So, Another thing we're gonna be talking about is upgrading the wiring in this because I didn't really know as much as I do now, not to toot my own horn, but yeah, so that's kind of messy and um, scares me, but it was just to get everything started. So this is another power distribution block that has fuses built into it. And this will be for the gauges, the fans, well, that's what most of this is, Ugh. most of that is for. But for the extra connections I need, this 
like such as nitrous and all that, we're uh, gonna do on this. So I'll preface the nitrous stuff. Oh, here, let me turn off this fan. I'll preface the nitrous stuff with whoever had this before me was a moron and wired this all kinds of dumb ways. So what we're gonna do is clean this up, but uh, yeah, switches and for the purge and all of that. Going in here, order two nice switches uh, that will be going over here in some order, not sure yet. So yeah, this is a quick little update video on uh, what I'm doing to update the wiring system and it continues. We have a fan shroud and two electric fans on the way and then we're also gonna do the, fly, or the flex plate uninstall and then the install of the new one. So look forward to that. I'll be seeing you guys soon.